I have that never quit attitude. My dad told me if I quit once, I'd make it a habit, so I've never quit. I was wounded, and I'm a high-level quadriplegic. I have 100% limited disability. I need help with everything. He used to be very active, and now with the technology, I think that it's gonna give him a little bit more freedom. So, and that's what I wanna see. The first task we're gonna do today is opening the front door. Hi, mommy. What will get the door for you? Toyota is a car company, and obviously we like to make cars, but we also focus on research and development. Can we help people be more mobile? I pushed it. I make the robots work. Each member of our team has their speciality that they are very good at. We've got perception and navigation and manipulation, and so when we come together, we have to coordinate all of these things in order to create this symphony that is the robot. Creating just a random task is great and all, but there's not that motivation behind it that you're actually helping somebody. The Romy Project is really great because we get to see the person that we're interacting with and do a task that's for him. One of the tasks that we're looking at is opening the door for Romy. Can he do that by himself? Can he feel independent? The second task that we're working on is bringing water to Romy when he needs it. You're going to push the button that says water. Then the robot is going to drive out over to the counter, pick up the bottle, and drive over to your wheelchair. Even though these tasks seem very, very simple, they're actually stepping stones into having robots in everybody's home. The robot sees its world through the myriad of sensors that it has on it. It has the ability to sense its environment in a fairly complete way. I got it. I am looking for money. It'll be really exciting to actually see the person that I've been developing to use the tasks for in real life, to see the expression on his face, and hopefully it's positive. When we go there, we want him to hold on to that and say, I don't want you to take it home. It's not just about Romy, but how does he lead us into understanding what it is that's necessary to make a difference in a lot of people. <laughs> Today is a big day. We are super excited. When they opened the box and I saw the robot, I figured that will unfold the next chapter in human support robots helping people with disabilities. Like we're going to change the world. This might be the first time we've actually taken HSR outside of the lab space and actually done something with real people. That's awesome. We're doing our full robot checkout, making sure that the positions of all of the tasks are correct. See if it opens the door successfully. Andres, oh my god. Last night, I don't think that he couldn't sleep. He's been waiting for this day more than us. He told his teacher, he told his classmates that he's going to go home to see dad's robot. There are a lot of little tasks that Gabby does throughout the day to help Romy out. This is going to be like a teamwork. I have another tool to help me in my daily routine. Those are the most important tasks that I do throughout the day, and the robot would do it for me. You know, that's something huge. If I'm here taking a shower and Romulo is outside, he doesn't have to wait for me. I know that he's going to come in. Toyota's been supporting us, and they genuinely really want to help. Paralysis affects the entire family. So if you can bring a tool that is going to improve quality of life for the entire family, it's priceless. This is, you know, a big game changer for everybody that has a disability. If I can help in any way, the better my life will be just because, you know, it's satisfaction. I want to make sure that Undress knows that you don't have to quit anything that you can just keep going no matter what.